Well, hello, hello, Internet. Something a bit different this time. Yes, I've got one of those blind boxy things that have been so popular with all the youngins. So, I thought I'd th give one of these a shot. Now, I only care about video games, obviously. Uh, I had a friend of mine search around for a blind box that gives physical games, not just a bunch of, you know, indie game codes on Steam or something, one of actual physical games. However, those blind boxes tend not to be very good from what I've heard. You tend to get, you know, really crappy games nobody gives us not about. Uh, but figured I'd give it a shot with something that seemed interesting, and my buddy found this one. This is from RetroGameTreasures.com. Uh, they had a eh, relatively thorough uh, preferences thing you could set up, so that seemed like that would be helpful. And I haven't done it yet. I will be getting a couple more of these uh, because one box seemed like it wasn't really a good indicator of their overall quality. Uh, but you can, I haven't done it yet, but you can actually put in for the games, or the systems that they give out games for, you can put in what games you already own so they won't send duplicates. And, you know, that's another good way to kind of cut down on getting something that's not meaningful. Uh, one of the things I liked about them, just reading from their site, was that they actually do PS1 games as well as the obvious Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy... They actually also did up through Game Boy Advance, which was a big one for me, because I love me the Game Boy Advance. Probably my favorite system of all time. So, I've got my first one here, and you'll notice it looks like a treasure box from a video game. It's kind of 8-bitty. I've already cut the tape on the bottom, so let's open this up and see. If I open it towards the camera, I guess... RetroGameTreasure.com Let's see, I'll have to open it to myself here first. Let's find out. Plastic? Well, plastic's great. Okay, we have four games. And from what I remember, you could get somewhere between three to, like, two to four, three to four, something like that, because, of course, it depends on what, uh... You can't see my face. It depends on what size cartridges you're getting. This is a little funny. Because uh, obviously I can see the camera. Uh, first one is a Game Boy Advance cartridge. I love me Game Boy Advance stuff. So, Super Drop Zone. I actually don't... Intergalactic Rescue Missions. I know I've heard of this one. I don't know anything about it off the top of my head. Hmm. I wonder if it plays like that old arcade one where it was just trying to land really carefully and then take off again. Um... Oh, there was that one for the Genesis that was very similar and was like it, it, on hard difficulty is absolutely insane. A lot of people are familiar with that one. Remember, there's the first game, Super Drop Zone. All right, set that off the side. This one, I seeing this in here, this makes me kind of chuckle. Castlevania for the N64. I actually love Castlevania for the N64, and we even started playing the actual proper like full buffed version of this game because there's two versions of it for the N64. Not going to get into it right now. Uh, we started playing Legacy of Darkness for the N64 which is this game but we're like literally double the content. There's two more playable characters, there's two more stages, there's more bosses like it just and I, I don't know why there's two versions of the game. I actually really like this game though and I don't I didn't have uh, any more anyway this original Castlevania for the N64, so that's, it's not the best thing to get, because I've played it already, and, I mean, it's still, I love it, but it's still kind of, you know, that's a meh one to get, I suppose. Not terribly interesting, anyway. Legacy of Darkness, even if it had been a duplicate, would have been kind of awesome, because uh, I do really, really enjoy Legacy of Darkness, even though it plays a bit fiddly. Uh, yeah, so that's, I'm not upset with that one. This is interesting, though. This has got me... They do imports. So this is actually a Super Famicom cartridge right here. And it's Dragon Quest freaking 5. That's not too shabby. That's, you know... I, I'm not actually sure how popular Dragon Quest 5, specifically in the Dragon Quest series, was. But, um... I mean, it's Dragon Quest. It, it's the main competitor to Final Fantasy uh, in Japan. And uh, had been 
had been, has been, still is, don't know, for a very long time. So that's, this is the equivalent of them sending me, you know, Final Fantasy 4 through 6. Uh, except, of course, it's in Japanese, I can't read it. But I don't think this had, the uh, Dragon Quest games on the Super Nintendo, I don't think had any legitimate uh, U.S. releases. Uh, I mean, maybe Virtual Console these days, I'm not really sure. Uh, but there is one thing about this that makes me very happy. Enix without Square in front of, ooh, that doesn't want to focus. That's a darn. I love Enix. Uh, like, just Enix on their own back in the days before they and Square had merged. Uh, they made some of my absolute favorite games on the Super Nintendo. And the last game <laughs> is another one. This is going to be kind of like the GBA game in that, like, I recognize the name, but I don't know anything about it. A PlayStation 1 game. Dead in the Water, which is a, like, combat racer on the water. Kind of... What do I want to say? Mario Kart meets uh, Wave Race, I suppose. Uh, Thirteen off-the-hook characters to choose from. Nine blazing aquatic tracks to tear up. 3D rendered waves like you've never seen before. That's an interesting selling point. An arsenal of high-powered, high-tech, customizable weapons and boats. They, uh, the text there for weapons and boats was bigger than the rest of the text. All fully upgradable. Two-player split-screen or combat cable link. Combat cable link? Did did they call a cable that linked multiple PlayStations or something? A combat cable? I don't even know what that is. No, I'm familiar uh, with Dead in the Water. I've never played it. So, hey, that's uh, three games I've never played, at the very least. So, you know, getting Castlevania has kind of you know, got a game I already have played and I'm familiar with, yada yada. Uh, and of course, I expect that they'll all come properly with all their manuals and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. When it comes to the PlayStation games, they're not going to send me a disc in a, you know, one of those super thin replacer cases or something like that. I don't... I don't know if I've heard good or bad things about Dead in the Water. Huh. That's interesting. I'm definitely not against a Mario Kart style game. Ooh, I keep reflecting the screen of the computer. That's not good. Uh, I am definitely okay with combat kart racing style games. I actually have Jack X combat racing. <laughs> that, was the, that was literally the only Jack uh, Jack and Dexter game I've ever played. I have the like HD re-release of the first three games and haven't put it in yet. But I do love me some combat racing games. Uh, and hey, I loved Wave Race just as much as anyone else. That's fun. That's fun. So I'm actually totally cool with that. And there's nothing else in here. Just the four games. Four games? Yeah, I can count. Thanks for your subscription. Here's a few tips. Post your treasure picks and earn extra entries in our boss chest giveaways. To avoid duplicates, make sure your collection is updated by the 15th of the month. We guarantee your games arrive working. Emails if you have issues. And... Huh. Interesting little ad for another company on the back that does, like, framed, uh, what looks to be 3D, well, like, physical art pieces where it's, you know, you could actually touch it and it's made out of something. That's made out of something. I think it's made out of something. You know what I mean. And actually, they got a Chrono Trigger one there. That always, that caught my eye. And a Kingdom Hearts one. I do love me Kingdom Hearts. Interesting. Well... Uh, definitely not blowing me away necessarily with what we got here. Let's actually go ahead and bring it all into shot. Let's see if I can. <laughs> Thank you for playing. I just saw that on the corner there. Uh, here. That guy here. Thank you for playing. Oh no, my apartment number. Okay, let's see if we can bring all the games in shot here. One, two. <laughs> Trying to do things through the preview screen is kind of awkward. And can I can I stand it on top of the <gasps> I can stand it on top of the PlayStation game. And the PlayStation game's horribly reflecting the screen of the computer <laughs> again. Oh well, I'll figure this out in the future. Since I'll have two more of these at least to do. Uh, no, I. that's not terrible. I mean, definitely, again, definitely not getting blown away by this first box here. I will, however, make a point of uh, adding everything I have for the systems they do on, onto their list on my account. We'll see what the next box has. 
I mean, obviously, even with this one that I've already played, as I said, I actually didn't have this first cartridge. Uh, you know, the one that's not called Legacy of Darkness. So, I mean, that's not bad. I love collecting the Castlevania games, so I'm not against that. But, was hoping for something a tad more spectacular. If you're going to get an import game, however, not shabby getting one that is definitely immediately recognizable. Uh, getting a Dragon Quest game as opposed to just getting some random... I was about to make up a bunch of Japanese... Well, not make up. I was about to string a bunch of random Japanese words together for a fake title. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, getting some really completely obscure thing would have been... Well, I mean, I probably would have liked it because I'm me, but it would have been a little awkward. You know, how could you even gauge that? Uh, Super Dropout's the one I think I'm most intrigued by. I'll have to check that out. But, yeah, that was the su uh, Super Game Treasures. The <laughs> Super Game Friends unboxing video... <laughs> Or retro game treasures. I can use the word game everywhere. It's getting confusing. Uh, oh, hey. Raggedy Andy. Um, yeah, that's not terrible. Definitely intrigued to see what we get in the next one. So, yeah. Not too much else to say. Definitely going to have to try these two games out here as of the ones I am the least familiar with. So... I guess I'll see you guys when the next box shows up. Well, I'll see you guys like this when the next box shows up. You're probably going to see me, you know, yelling at a video game before that. Alright, so... Hi again already. I, um, had the fun, hopefully fun little idea. Why not play those two games? I got out of the box, they were kind of interesting. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it at the Arizona Desert. November something or another. It's not very secret if you got a giant, you know, wood sign pointing at your base. I'm just going to say that right now. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I thought it might be fun to just tack this on, try out those two games I've never played before. So... Um, why is the start button not starting? Oh, there we go. Wait, no? Oh, oh, okay, no, we're in. Wow. That, this game starts abruptly, alright. And, it looks like, oh, this one's super drop zone, if you couldn't tell. Oh, it's like Defender, holy what did I say in the unboxing video? I, I thought maybe it was going to be like, um... Mutant tracking. Interactive. What? Mutant tracking? Does it track mutants? Did they even say mutant, or am I just getting that completely wrong? Oh god. Wow, this game controls very loosely. <laughs> very fast. Very fast paced. Very sparse on the sounds. No music. Considering that heavy beady song we got at the... during that opening bit. I was expecting a title screen after I... Whoa! That was close. I was expecting a title screen after um, I hit start so that I could properly introduce the game. Yes, this is Super Drop Zone. I accidentally called it Super Drop Out in my video. I realized that when I was uh, looking at the footage. I, I randomly called it Super Dropout for some reason. This is Archer McLean's. God, I hope I got that name right. Archer something. Archer McLean's Super Drop Zone. I almost said Dropout again. Um, apparently, originally a Super Nintendo. Oh, we gotta destroy the Wave Leader. This is different from Defender, granted. Defender, I don't think, had any bosses whatsoever. Uh, can't really get him on screen without it being kind of dangerous, it seems like. Whoa, hey, let's be careful. Let's be careful. Let's, whoa, being careful. Continuing to be careful. Careful is good. Uh, hmm. This is interesting, though. At the very least, I find it interesting. I always loved Defender, actually. Um, I remember playing Defender on, like, freaking computer. Uh, oh, whoa. Oh, that's how it goes to wave two. Like, all the captured little things you're rescuing pop out of the boss of the last wave. Okay, that's actually kind of awesome. Um, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I feel like my astronaut exploded into a lot more pieces than he was actually made out of. 
Uh, well, let's keep going a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Uh, no, I played Defender on a PC. Oh, jeez, my butt. And then I exploded. Again. <laughs> I really love the explosion animation. Reminds me of, um, you know, how they'd have things explode in the olden days and just burst into pixels. But this is slightly more detailed than that. Um, God, trying to stay on thought focus. Defender, yes, I, man, way, way back in, um, freaking middle school? Yeah, middle school. Uh, they had a computer lab and, like, computer, oh, God. Oh, spider, what? Robot spider. I don't, oh, they probably take out the dudes I'm supposed to rescue. Oh, crap. There's only one left, too. I suck. Wow, that was bad. Uh, how many did I... Um, okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, oh man, way, way back. Way back when I was a friggin', like... 11? <laughs> or something? Oh god, this ball of sun is just kind of coming at me. It looks like something from frickin' Salamander. Uh, the, the other Gradius game. Ooh, I exploded it, though. That's good. I wonder what the next boss is gonna look like. Man, this is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm liking this. I mean, it's not the most involved thing going, but, um... I mean, Defender Clonius. What? I gotta remember that there's, like, a bomb item that I'm not using. I've always been bad about that in games. Remembering to use, like, the screen-clearing kaboom item. Okay, this game's very fast, and it's really easy to just go run smack into stuff. That's... Man, <laughs> got a lot of lives, it seems. That's good. I wonder if I could kind of get away with just rescuing dudes and not trying to attack anybody. Although games like this were always, oh, but games like this were always, you know, built on score. It's just, can you, you know, get a high score? Whoa, can I shoot that? Yeah, I can, okay. So... Avoiding score just to win is kind of silly in a game like this. <laughs> yeah, Defender. Middle school, teenager. I was like 11, 12 maybe. And I'd play Defender on floppy... And I say floppy disk. I mean those old eight and a quarter floppies. The ones that were like literally floppy. Um, can I destroy the spider? Can I? I want to, yeah, five points, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. Attack wave three completed. Yeah, those old, like, actually floppy things. Uh, my dad used to play Defender on actual Defender cabinets. Uh, he's told me stories about that back in the day. And they, he and a friend of his, uh, they would go to the local bar, even though they weren't necessarily supposed to. Whoops. Hmm. This one's looking a little trickier. Uh, but they had gotten, like, so good at that cabinet of Defender, you know, gaining, like, extra lives and stuff, that they would then, like, just go to the bathroom, leaving the cabinet running, leaving the game on. And because they had so many extra lives, because they, you know, were good enough at the game to just get those extra lives, that they they could just do that. They'd just go to the freaking bathroom <laughs> and just die a bunch while they were in the bathroom, come back, and they, you know... The game was still running because they still had lives. And they'd, uh, you know, just get back to playing. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. I think there was other some other thing about, like, the bar actually had a, a challenge of whoever had the high score at the end of the week or whatever got a, a free, like, six-pack of beer or some shit. So he probably didn't get a bomb dropped on his head. Uh, <laughs> So, you know, they were almost always, they would, they, they they were better at it than everyone else, so they just rock up in there, get the high score at the end of the week or whatever, and it just, you know, he even said something about, like, you know, throwing that 12-pack on the back of his motorcycle and leaving, or something. <laughs> oh, the stories we tell to each other. Mutant tracking. Interactive. Mutant tracking? It sounds like he says mutant tra Oh, boy. It sounds like he says mutant tracking. I, oh, God. Yep. Oh, you know, GBA games have L and R buttons, don't they? Let me see if... What the... Whoa! What does that do? Mm. 
Bye. Bye, me. I went kaboom. What does that do? Does that... That's like burning a meter at the bottom of the... Oh, don't die again immediately, please. It's burning some other meter, the, like, meter opposite where the boss's health was going. God. Holy man, this game's making me terrified, because, like... It is super easy to die. Holy crap. What the... How was I supposed to react to that? Oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, me, oh, my. Uh, oh, there's, like, one dude I need to rescue, and he's, like, right on the base, too. You know what? Let's just swoop in and do it, and... Oh, but I do have to blow everything up, don't I? I was also starting to say something about, like, Defender clones are a thing that's, like, still done to this day. Uh, like, one of the, like, PS4 digital... One of the, like, launch digital titles on the freaking PS4 was a Defender clone. So, you know... It... <laughs> the game style is... Classic. You know, hard to match. It's hard to, like, really do much more than just do it again with some extra frills. Uh, it's good. It works. No, I, this is good. I like this. Um, man, it is not easy, though. Wow. Zero lives. Prepare for trailer invasion. What? Oh, this is... Um, I'm going to get invaded by trailers? What was that sound bite? I couldn't even tell what he said. Give me that. What, what, what was that? Oh god. Shoot it. I, I, oh. Whoops. Game over. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I suppose we should play the next one then. Hmm. My rank is Planets Man. <laughs> and he just occasionally kind of like wipes the, the the thing, the helmet. Uh, you know, AAA is good. I'm fine with AAA. All right then. Let's. Uh, it, it, it was licensed. Oh no! Wait, here we go. I'm gonna let this play first. <laughs> This game is interestingly uh, developed by Jim Bagley. Original concept by Archer McLean. Game Boy Advance version created by Jim. Bye. Drop Zone copyright Archer McLean. <laughs> GBA version. Executive producer, development manager, finishing manuals and layouts. Special thanks. Archer McLean's Drop Zone. There we go. Okay. Dead in the water. Oh man, that PS1 startup jingle. That, I love that. I love that a lot. That's, there's a lot of nostalgia there. All right. Is it developed by Player One? Uh, ASC Games. Actually, is that not the, not the case right next to me. Player One. So that, that ASC Games logo looked like it was the exact skull used for the logo for this game. Well, the cover of this game. Your invitation arrived today to a mysterious tournament that takes place once a year. Those who competed before have never been seen again. Kind of looks like this says, be poor. Now it's your turn. I don't like the sound of this. The rules are simple. Destroy everything. Oh, oh, we're seeing some, some footage, footage of the game. Look at damn polygons. I will say, guys, I have a soft spot in my heart for PlayStation One polygons. I really do. Uh, let's just go ahead and press buttons. Why am I having so many controller issues today? Really? Okay, hold on. Okay, and we're back! Controller problem fixed. Yay! And yeah, that looks to be the exact same skull that was ASC's logo as well. Dead in the water. Alright, let's, um... Single competition, race tournament, battle tournament, two-player competition, link game. Load tournament. We'll just do a single... 
competition. There we go. Right, it even says what button is selected on there. Load save boat. No, I don't have one. Battle Gamer Race Game. Oh. Um. Huh. Let's just go with Race Game. I. That's probably... I don't know what what's going to be more standard in this situation. Okay. They don't have names. Oh, no, I'm sorry. They have names. Dr. Graves... And it looks like Facilier from uh, uh, The Frog and the Princess. The Princess and the Frog. Sergeant Steel, because you always got to have that stereotypical American character with the tank looking vehicle. I mean, his gun stat seemed really low, though. Old Jerry. Did, or Didgery Dave. Because it's an Australian stereotype. Barry and Brad buffed. That's... Oh, wait, hold on. There's bios? Ciao. Right on, dude. Barry and Brad are two world-class bodybuilding brothers who can outflex a whole gym of Mr. Olympias. I doubt that. With egos larger than Arnold's biceps, the brothers were born looking for trouble. They despise all the other wimps at the beach. Barry and Brad are going to kick sand in everybody's faces. Wonderful. Kind of like their boat, though. It's like a water tie fighter or some shit. The Crotchet family. I assume that's supposed to be a parody of the family from the Beverly Hillbillies. What were the, the Krampets? I think they were called the Krampets. Uh, this is why I need Ronaldo around here. <laughs> Captain Flintlock. Well, at least now we're just going with, like, a fictional stereotype. Although he's got a whole freaking like, Marvin Medler. Got a bit of a Dexter thing going on there. Dexter's Lab thing. Dexter, Dexter. What was the last name of those that family? Number seven? It's supposed to be, like, a, you know, 007 secret agent, dude. Uh, Ebony Justice. That's some black exploitation. Although, freaking cool car. Water car. Agent X. Okay, never mind. This is the other. Whatever. Officer JB Nightstick. Wow, I'm not even going to get any gameplay at this rate. I'm so entranced by these kids. Characters. Candy, Brandy, and Mandy. Okay, you know what? We're going to look at the bio. I, I have to know. Female lifeguards are tough. It's one of the undeniable facts of reality. Candy, Brandy, and Mandy are the most gifted lifeguards on the beach. Roll my eyes. Each brings special attributes and features to the team. They don't want to hurt anyone too much. Just show off a little. For sure, these girls just want to have fun. Uh, Vicky Vane? I like the car. There's a lot of characters. And back to Dr. Graves. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go... With, oh, she's got good acceleration and speed. And I always have preferred nimble vehicles. So, why not? I like the look of your car, ma'am. The speed wet, yeah, we'll just go with the figure of heat track. Let's see how this goes. And that's what? That's Ebony Justice and one of the Andes. <laughs> Actually, it didn't clarify which one was which in the bio. And it doesn't, it didn't really have their names over the picture. So, presumably it would have just been in order. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to play really fast. Is that... That's not go forward. That's not go forward. How do I, I... I learned how to shoot. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Um, so there's my guns. What the... Um... Oh, boy. This is... Oh. Shoot him. Shoot him. This is really weird. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. 
Like, let me see if I can figure out what... Oh, okay, that's how I switch through the items I have? Oh, I ran into a thing. Oh, that's how I do that. Oh, is that not how it... Oh, are you kidding me? You actually just press forward to go forward? That's so weird. I... Because I hit R and I, like, boosted really hard or whatever. Which I assume means that you have, like, that boost meter down there. Oh, God. This is really hard to control. Also, the draw distance is not that great. It's pretty interesting, though. Must be said. Let's throw a landmine out? That's ghost! Oh, I'm invisible now. Actually, I wonder if that makes me intangible. I'm going the wrong way. I wonder if that makes me intangible, too, or something. Boost! Maybe. Did I? Hold the button down? Boost! I don't know what I'm doing! God. I can barely see myself. Um, I got another thing. Oh, that's a shield of... Oh! Well, that might have been a good time for me to use it, I guess. Oh, that was a missile. Oh, okay. I should probably be using those jumps, but I suck. Also, I don't know how to play the game, like, barely. That's so weird that forward is accelerate. When was the last time games used forward to accelerate in a racing environment? I mean, I suppose the battle mode was listed first, so... Maybe I'm just assuming too much. Oh man, I can't catch up to these guys at all. Wow, whoops! Oh, shit! Turn boost! Third place. I suck. Wow, that is awkward. Try again. Wow, that's a nice fast timer there. That's a game that does not want you to continue. We're, I was going to go with no anyway, because... <laughs> wow, that was... Well, it went quickly, so what do you guys say? We'll check out battle mode really fast. See... If that's particularly diff... <laughs> Race results, didgeridave. Hmm. Okay, uh, single competition again, but this time we're gonna go with... I don't have a saved boat. No. Uh, battle game. Come on. I just... You know what? I'm gonna go with the Andes. I've decided they're now collectively known as the Andes. Uh, the Arctic? Oh, you know what? Let's just go back to the Arctic. You know what? That looks like it's got a nice big open area in the center. I'm assuming that the battle maps are just kind of open areas to fight in. Actually, that's kind of nice. They were smart enough to do that. Unlike Mario Kart 8, whose battle mode sucks. It's very, very, very tacked on. Oh, uh, fight. Oh, okay. I was, I was waiting for three, two, one. Oh, wow. I don't know how to... Oh, God. Okay. Nope, here we go. Here we maybe go. Wait, which one am I? I am the purple one? Maybe? Oh, okay. I don't know... Although, as, hey, there we go. Missile, missile, yeah! Gonna freaking get my Vigilante 8 on. I actually own Vigilante 8 Second Offense already. I actually have that for the N64 and not the PlayStation because, uh, I don't know, screw you. Uh, okay. Triangle fires my gun. Ow, oh, ow, ow. Have a grenade. That didn't do jack, did it? Oh, I ran right into that. <laughs> uh, oh, I ran into that, too. Oh, wait. I got ten. I'm guessing that's a flamethrower. You jerk. Oh, wow. The flamethrower does not last long. Missile! Shoot missiles! I don't know. Oh, God. The water is weird. Like, I admit, I... Uh, credit where credit's due. Like, it, it's actually acting like water. That's good. Oh, that's lightning. 
that's just that's just lightning. I mean, I I don't think anybody would argue with me about that being lightning. I got lightning now too, though. Let me see if I can. God, here more lightning, maybe. Can I? Oh man, man, just finding an opponent. Hey, no, that's a freaking mine again, or a, a whatever again. Shut up. <laughs> trying to get, this is a bunch of high speed shenanigans, and I'm trying to like think of things to say. It's ridiculous. Missile, missile, missile. Oh, I, I'm getting blowed up. Oh, this is bad. Oh, jeez, that... You, you, screw you. Missile, missile, more missiles, more missiles. Raging, baby. Oh, I'm dead in the water. That is the name of the game. <laughs> dead in the water. No. <laughs> Very long load screen. Oh, man. That was interesting. <laughs> Definitely a very... I, I think I compared it, what, to... Uh, I said it was like Mario Kart meets Wave Race. It's definitely more Vigilante 8 meets Wave Race. <laughs> Which I'm fine with that. I liked Vigilante 8. Although the draw distance is pretty terrible. Very, very hard to see what was going on. Not bad, though. So there we go. That was Super Drop Zone. I didn't say Super Drop Out this time. So Super Drop Zone. And... Dead in the water. Sweet.